Scientists are working on a new theory about what went wrong with that Virgin Galactic test flight on Friday. The spacecraft broke apart and came crashing to Earth, killing the co-pilot and seriously injuring the pilot. Jeff Semple has the latest. Three days since the spacecraft crashed in the California desert, investigators are beginning to piece together why it broke apart. Early signs point to the so-called feathering function, shown in this company video. Extending the feather. Feathers moving. As it enters the atmosphere, the tail or feathers fold up and the spacecraft slows down. But investigators say this time the feathering kicked in too soon. The feathers moved into the deployed position and two seconds later we saw disintegration. The error could have been mechanical or human. Investigators say it will be months before they know for sure. We are a long way from finding cause. We still have months and months of investigation to do a lot that we don't know. We have extensive data sources to go through. Whatever the cause, the crash marks a major setback for British billionaire Richard Branson and his company, Virgin Galactic. They've spent the past decade chasing the dream of sending paying passengers to the edge of space. Virgin Galactic's first space tourism trips were supposed to start in the new year. More than 700 customers, including celebrities Justin Bieber and Brad Pitt, had already reserved a seat, a quarter of a million dollars for each extraterrestrial ticket. Branson and his family were to be the first. But now those plans are on hold, and Branson's thoughts are with the pilots. The test pilots are brave people who put their lives at risk. Um, to make sure that, you know, if there was some in, 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 uh, something that hadn't been spotted, that it, it happened with a test pilot and not with a passenger. Incredibly, the test pilot survived, but his co-pilot, father of two, Michael Alsbury, did not. Branson vows to continue the project, but even before this accident, reports claimed funding was running low and investors were growing nervous. This crash renewing doubts about whether the space tourism project will ever get off the ground. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.